What's up everybody, it's Dan Vaughn here today, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a Gorod Krovi easter egg tutorial. The first step is that you want to get your dragon egg. The dragon egg is a part of the wonder weapon, and I'll have a separate tutorial on how to build the wonder weapon later. The next step is to get 6 trophies. The first one I can find is down here in the sewer. As you can see, there is a red light. I have to shoot that red light while you're traveling through the sewers. As you can see, the person will come through and shoot it and the light will become green. I'll play it back really slowly in the, the first person mode so you can see what exactly I'm talking about. And then when I, while I'll play it back the light will be green but that's because theater mode's a bit. When he shoots the thing, when he shoots that light, there's going to be a gear that comes out of this toilet. The next trophy you can find is over by the tank station. You're going to need to build a shield, which I'll also have a separate tutorial on later. So basically you're going to want to shoot this pipe with your shield blast. I come over here, take out my shield, and blast the pipe, and the Valkyrie drone trophy will pop out. The next trophy is over here by the supply depot, right outside the supply depot. You're going to want to have to acquire your dragon strike, which you can do by... Uh, completing the lockdown. I'll also have a separate tutorial on how to upgrade it. So once you dragon strike this puddle thing, the nuke trophy will pop out. The next trophy is out here by the power. It's right outside the power station. You're going to want to shoot the little globe thing. As you can see, you shoot it and then it falls down and then you can pick it up. And that is the Gersh trophy. The next trophy is over inside the supply depot. You're going to want to activate the Gigan eye beam trap. You're going to want to activate it, let it run through, uh, just don't die by it, and then it will reveal a secret locker. Once the Gigan Eye Beam Trap is over, it will reveal the secret compartment, which contains the uh, Mangler Trophy. The final trophy is you actually need the Wonder Weapon slash Specialist Weapon thing. You need to use your super melee attack, so launch your dragon and then melee, and then I'll pick up your final drop pod trophy. Okay, so the next step is that you actually want to turn on the generator. How you want to do this is uh, uh, you need a Valkyrie. You want to kill a Valkyrie near this generator, and then it will turn it on automatically. And every round, at the beginning of the round, you're going to want to come back and turn on this generator if you haven't completed the valve step. So once you kill a Valkyrie, it'll actually make a little spark and it'll spark towards the button. And then the generator will turn on and fog will come out and the, and the drape will start blowing and all that. Which means you can now start the valve step. Keep in mind you can do this step simultaneously with the trophy step, but here is the valve in Dragon Command. As you can see, it has a purple cylinder. This is your end point. You're going to have a start point and an end point. You're going to want to look for this purple cylinder. It can be in any of the six valves, and uh, yeah, so uh, just keep in mind that the cylinder, this pink cylinder, is your end point. You do not need to change the number of valves. See how the clock says one, two, three? The wheel says one, two, three. You do not need to change that. That's the one dial that you do not need to change. So we're going to look for all the other valves. As you can see, we're in the armory. Here's the location of the armory. As you can see, this valve is green. This is your start point. And I'll explain this in a minute once I show you guys all the other valve locations. So this green is the start point, and the purple cylinder thing is the end point. You're going to want to find your start point and end point, and uh, yeah. So over here is the location for the supply depot. It's right next to one of the mystery box locations. That's the location of one of the supply depot valves. So then we're going to make our way over to the department store. The department store valve is up on the third floor right here. It is on the third floor of the department store. So then we're going to make our way over to the infirmary. This can also be called barracks. Here is the location of the infirmary uh, valve. The website that I will show you in a second does say it is called the barracks. Just keep that in mind. And then finally, the tank station valve is right here. So that is the location of all the valves, and then I will show you guys how this works. Okay, so how this valve step works is that you're going to want to go to uh, on, on the computer or a freaking uh, cell phone or whatever. Just go on the internet and go to this website. It'll be the first link in the description. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to put my start point, which was the armory, which is the green light, and my end point, 
which was Dragon Command or the Power Room. So tank, uh, tank Factory, Armory, uh, Supply Depot, or Dragon Command, which is Power, Infirmary, which is Barracks, and then Supply Depot. This is a department store, sorry. Department store or spawn. So I'm gonna submit. And then here are your two possible routes. This is, it's always, it'll, it'll pretty much be always the first one, but these are the two possible routes. So basically you're going to want to turn your armory, the armory to the dial, you're going to spin the armory dial to 1, the supply depot dial to 3, the tank station dial to 1, the barracks dial to 1, and then the department store dial to 3. The dragon command dial does not matter at all because it is the end point. So that is basically how it works. So basically once you get all the dials in the correct position, the little purple cylinder thing will pop out and then it will be available for you to pick up. And once you pick it up, uh, I'm going to pick it up real s in a second, and then once you pick it up, you're going to want to take it over to Sophia, which uh, will start the next sequence, which is typing in the password. Now the password is Kronos, which is amazing, amazing password game right there. So you're basically going to want to shoot the dials. So as you can see, he's going to shoot each dial in the, in the row. And uh, yeah, so when you're going to spin the letters and then make them spell Kronos, and then you're going to want to accept the password. And uh, yeah, that's, so that's how that step works. So once you spin it to Kronos, you're going to want to hold the extra square on uh, Sophia, and then she'll say accept password. And then this is where the fun begins. This is, you're gonna go to, this is basically part two of the Easter egg, which is you're gonna wanna place down your six trophies that you collected earlier. And uh, yeah, you're gonna start the next sequence. Okay, so basically what you're gonna wanna do is that you're gonna hold extra square on this green button right here on the control panel, and it will pick a random challenge. It'll pick one of the five challenges. Keep in mind that one of the challenges is always last. The 935 challenge is always the last challenge. So keep that in mind. So we're going to hold it and then it will be the Valkyrie challenge. The Valkyrie challenge is our first challenge. So what you're going to want to do is that you're going to make your way over all the way to the spawn. The, it will always be in the spawn room. So uh, yeah, so basically you're going to need Undead Mon walking for like half of these challenges. I'm not even joking. So you're just going to want to make your way over to the spawn and then you'll see a green uh, Valkyrie drone. So this is one of the two escort missions. I, rec I highly recommend that you have Undead Mon walking or else this challenge is going to be insane. But then you're going to say, oh, well, why don't you just save the last zombie? Here's the thing. For all six of these challenges, it's unlimited zombie spawns. So, uh, yeah, you're just going to keep ending the round, basically. So, basically, what you want to do is that you want to escort this drone all the way over back to the uh, Dragon Command area. So, it's, it's pretty straightforward if you have Undead Man Walking, but, and like, this is, like, Undead Man Walking, for a while, it's like, oh, what's the point of this thing? We don't really need it. But, it, it really is a necessity if you're if you want to succeed in this Easter egg so basically it's gonna take it up and Sophia and then you're ready for the next challenge so we're gonna press square the next challenge is the drop pods now the drop pod can spawn off of, th of all three of the uh, dragon dragon uh, landing areas so like where you go ride the dragon th those areas it can spawn one of three of them it spawn the supply depot dragon area the Dragon Command area of the tank station. For us, it spawned in the tank station. So what you're going to do is that you're going to make your way over here, and then this drop pod will land. It's uh, it's just like the pack a punch steps where you have to protect them, but this time it's zombies that spawn, and they spawn outside of the map. They won't spawn inside of the map. They'll only spawn outside, and you don't need to kill them close to this draw and close to the drop pod. Because as you can see, there we're killing them really far away, and the and still like saying, yeah, we're we're the, the, those are zombie kills, and uh, yeah, it counts. So basically, we're going to do once you are done, once you killed enough zombies in that area, you're going to want to take your specialist weapon, your little uh, your baby dragon, and you're going to want to launch it off. You're going to want one person though. 
one person launches their little baby dragon and uh, yeah they launch it off into the, the to the drop pod to pick up the little part that the drop pod leaves behind so so he's gonna launch his baby dragon it's gonna go out and then uh, yeah so basically what you want to make sure is that not two people launch it at the same time if two people launch it at the same time it's gonna glitch out and then you're you're basically you're done with your Easter egg like it's over you're not going to be able to go any further so make sure that you may establish one person to do the uh, to do the, the to launch your dragon so that is the drop pod uh, challenge one thing you want to make sure of is that you actually turn in the the cargo crate thing to Sophia or else unlimited zombies will still keep spawning so uh, yeah if you if you're not able to start the next challenge maybe because and zombies are still spawning a lot maybe because you haven't turned in the cargo so next up you're gonna want to do the we're gonna start the next challenge the next challenge is Gersh the Gersh challenge it's the little orb thing it's a little annoying ass yellow orb and this is probably the hardest challenge if you're not like coordinated you basically got to find this annoying ass yellow orb there it is it's going across the screen right now and you want to basically follow it around the map you need pack punch weapons all right I tried it with my unpack a punched ray gun this is what the yellow orb looks like. You're basically want to shoot it around the map. And basically what happens is that, uh, yeah, it's a time limit. So if you don't cue all three of his audio quotes at the same time, then, uh, yeah, you will fail the challenge. You're going to want to shoot him a bunch of times, and he will say three audio quotes. Uh, that, and um, he will be talking a lot, a lot if you're, like, even when he's just moving around. But he's going to cue three main audio quotes that everyone will hear, and you don't need to be near him to hear these audio, those audio quotes. Basically, just chase him around the map, then cue his three audio quotes, and then within a certain time limit, and uh, yeah. Once again, you're going to probably need Undead Mountain Walking for this. It's pretty much recommended, and uh, yeah. Alright, next challenge. This is the doozy. It is the bomb challenge. There are going to be six bombs around the map and holy shit this challenge can be quite a pain so i'll show you guys all six bomb locations there is one in each of the main areas that are highlighted the order is labeled on the screen so yes have someone read the bombs like just record a video like i use snapchat uh, because it has an automatic loop thingy so yeah so this is the location for the dragon command bomb right there here is the location for the infirmary bomb here is the location for the tank factory bomb it's right next to the gobble gum machine here is the location for the department store it's right under the stairs of the first room you enter here is the location of the armory it's right next to the wonder fizz and here's the location of the supply depot all right, so our fifth challenge is the Mangler challenge. This is a Russian Mangler that can spawn in the tank factory or it can spawn in the department store. It can spawn in one of those two locations and if it's solo, it'll just chase you. But for co-op, it will chase one person. It'll chase someone out of all four of you. It'll just, it'll just be randomly selected. So make sure you understand who's chasing this is just like the Valkyrie Escort mission, so once again, make sure you have Undead Man Walking, as will be a huge help for you. And now, that is it for the five main challenges. Now for the final challenge. This one is most likely always the last challenge. So, yeah, if it's not the last challenge, then you're very lucky. This is the 935 gear challenge, and it's right next to the toilet. So basically, what you want to do... So you want to ride the dragon all the way over to the Pack-a-Punch. Once you get to Pack-a-Punch, everyone simultaneously has to hold square or X on this little red panel thing. Everyone has to do it at the same time because as you can see, like, it, it's, just a, it's just a mess. So it's right across from the toilet in case you have trouble finding it. It's on the main floor of the thing and this is probably my favorite challenge it is an unlimited it is like a lockdown but for it is a uh, only manglers so only manglers spawn 
It's just like a regular lockdown, but it's only manglers. So this is a pretty interesting uh, challenge. It's probably my favorite one because it's like, I don't know, it's just really cool. So yeah, it's just like you have, you have three sides. The manglers are going to stop spawning like after a while, but it'll still say downloading in progress. That's just like, just don't worry. Like it's your, your game's not glitched. Just you killed all the manglers before the download progress uh, began or stopped. So once you're done with that, you're gonna want to pick up the key card. You want to hold square on it, and then on the little panel, once the download progress is over. Now, once again, unlimited zombies will spawn until you give Sophia the key card. So yeah, if you if you're wondering why there's unlimited zombie spawns, it's probably because you haven't given Sophia the key card. Now, this is almost the last step. Now, so now Sophia is going to say some quotes, and then it will reveal this power core. This power core that you will give to Nikolai. So make sure you pick it up and then make sure someone has their specialist weapon ready. Because you're gonna have to give your special the you're gonna have to use your specialist weapon and give the power core to Nikolai. So we're gonna run over and then launch the dragon. Come over here and launch the dragon, and then he's gonna give Nikolai the power core. Once you have given him the power core, you want to return to Sophia. And then you're going to want to hold extra square and then she's going to say some quotes or like little, it's all going to burst out in flames. It's going to be really weird. Your machine's going to back up, which will reveal the sewer grate to go into the boss fight. But yeah, that's pretty much it. She's just going to say some audio quotes. She's just going to fly up into the sky and stuff. It's actually pretty weird. Um, she's going to be like, oh, Maxis, I must go to him. Oh my God. And then <laughs> she's just going to go up up and fly into the sky like we <laughs> it's pretty funny how, how that happens when now you guys are ready to go into the boss fight all right so now everyone's gonna stand on the sewer grate you won't drop down until you hit the sewer grate all right so then you'll drop down into the boss fight you're gonna go through a sewer system now once you arrive in the boss fight, uh, nothing's really going to happen until you press this button. You're going to hold extra square on this button right here. And then the Gigan Eye Beam thing will shoot at Nikolai and uh, yeah. And once the Gigan Eye Beam shoots at Nikolai, he's just going to shoot at him. And then this will cue the boss fight. Now the f there are, this is a two part boss fight as you guys already probably know. And it is the first part is the Mother Dragon. So basically that annoying shit faggot that was blowing fire all over the place on you, that is no longer a thing, alright? So basically, uh, how this works is that, okay, sorry about the, <laughs> it looks really weird in theater mode, that's a theater mode glitch, sorry. It doesn't constantly spit fire like that, that's just a theater mode glitch. But uh, yeah, so basically how this works is that Nikolai is going to shoot three harpoon things into the dragon. One in its uh, right wing, one in its belly, and then one in its neck. You're going to want to put a lot of damage, so like throw monkeys, then shoot everything you have at it, and Nikolai is going to, uh, to basically like help you take down the dragon. So once Nikolai uh, sh um, exposes a part of the dragon, just shoot it, do this three times, and uh, yeah, you beat the dragon. This is pretty much a very straightforward fight, alright? Don't worry about this, this isn't that hard. So you're gonna defeat it, and then it's gonna like spray, it's all goopiness, all its goopy dragonness, and then you no longer have to deal with the dragon breathing fire down on you in the map, because you, you, you killed it! You killed the dragon that was breathing fire all over you on the map. Nikolai, the world around us is a fragment, a twisted alternate of what was supposed to be. We have found a way to put things right. We can end the war, we can restore peace, but only if your very existence is erased from this twisted history. A true Russian never surrenders! Yeah. Alright guys, now for the actual literal boss fight against Nikolai 1.0. Basically, what you gotta do is that you gotta shoot the power cores on his shoulders. There's one exposed right now. There's gonna be four power cores. There's the two on his uh, chest that are always exposed, the two little light bars, 
and then there's also gonna be the, the one the two on his shoulders everything's gonna come at you there's gonna be raps coming at you yes actual raps for multiplayer there's gonna be russian manglers there's gonna be zombies and there's also gonna be the valkyrie drones everything's gonna come at you as you can see he's launching his raps right now and uh, yeah this is actually a pretty tough boss fight this is probably the toughest boss fight in the entire uh, black ops 3 game you know you are almost done with the boss fight when is when there is a fifth power core exposed on his belly or like in his middle area you gotta shoot the living fuck out of that because that is that means that you are almost done with the boss fight once you destroy that then the cutscene will start and you are done with the Gorod Krovi easter egg you think you will kill me now I am sorry Nikolai I wish I wish there was another way but know this, in my heart, I share the same pain as you. The pain that you have buried and blurred beneath an alcohol-fueled haze. Yes, the pain of your own memory. You loved and you lost. Everything else has been delusional fantasy that distance you from painful truth. You know what I speak of. You remember, before the bombs fell, before she was taken from us. Some things are forgotten for a reason! <laughs> It is done. The souls have been collected, Maxis. We'll see you soon. Thank you guys so much for watching my easter egg tutorial, I know it was really long, I know we've been going on for quite a long time, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching the theater mode cutscene, and I, and uh, yeah, I will have more tutorials on Gorod Krovi, sorry for being so late, I was at summer camp, hopefully the can of vlogs make you understand, and it feels so good to be back, and I will see you guys in the next video, peace out.